Alrighty, a little bit of a guide here for the A class car, the cup car here at Nashville. I'm um, seeing it go around here, but yeah, Nashville Super Speedway, the big track. Not a track that I'm too fond of. Uh, I'm not going to lie, it's a flatter uh, concrete track that is uh, pretty single file, but I'm going to show you guys how to get around it here. It is a all right track to race if you get a pretty competitive field, but. Um, yeah, I'm going to show you guys qualifying guide, how to get around it, a little bit of race strategy. So, um, let's just jump right into it. Alrighty, I believe pace speed is about 65, could be 70, but, uh, yeah, pace speed here and restart. So second gear is going to be the restart. Uh, when you get wide open, you shouldn't have too much of an issue, um, for the restarts. I don't think it'll spin tires. Uh, don't go down the apron. Maybe on restarts it's okay, um, but other than that, uh, like as soon as you take off, go apron, you can gain a little bit of time from the guys that are stuck on the outside line. But during the race, I would advise not going down here just because how hard this transition is at speed. So definitely be careful with that. Uh, then about right here, you're going to shift a fifth gear up at speed and then into the corner at this purple ally sign on the wall. You're going to shift down to fourth gear and roll the entry on the brake light break as you'll see in the qualifying lap but light break not too much but just enough to where you can get it rotated all the way down to this purple sign on the wall then you're going to lift off the brake you'll be about here on the line then back wide open when you hit the rackley sign on the wall here be wide open all the way till the exit when uh after the first two or three laps whenever tires finally do come up to temperature down the straightaway back straightaway you're going to shift up at the ally sign to fifth gear then just past the Rackley sign, we're going to jump on the brakes, get to fourth gear, blip the throttle, get it to fourth gear, drag the brakes all the way to the center till just after the purple sign. Then back wide open at the ally sign in fourth gear. All the way to the exit, run it all the way up to the outside wall, about this top seam, and that's going to be a lap here at Nashville Speedway. So let's jump into uh, the qualifying lap, and you guys can check out how to qualify, what time you should be about running. All right, heading out for a qualifying lap. I'm going to show you guys how to qualify here at Nashville. So exit and pit road, you're going to be up to fourth gear. You're going to run the high line, try to get some uh, heat into the tires and some momentum off the high line. Then we're going to get wide open and send it. Got to be careful with these tires, especially with them being new. Uh, but you want to go down the apron. It is a little bit hard uh, with the transition, things like that. But into turn number one, break at the purple sign on the wall, hard on the brake, drag it all the way to the center of the corner, back in the throttle early, right as you hit the center. Be careful because, uh, the first lap is going to be slower than the second, um, no matter what, but it's, you got to be careful with it just because the tire not coming in and, uh, things like that. So you can see how tight it is, just not rotating. Now we're going to go for our flyer, see if we can do it here. So I'm into turn one, purple sign, fifth gear, shift down, blip the brake, fourth, wide open, good exit there. Down the back stretch, shift up for a split second into the corner, drag brake, back wide open just at the center, be careful that it don't get loose on exit, gotta float it out to the wall, then fourth gear all the way to the start finish line. That's going to be a lap here for Nashville Super Speedway. That lap, that lap time as well was a 29.7, so a pretty good lap time there on the, uh, on the, for qualifying run. So a 7.74 was the lap that I was able to run. Obviously, could be quicker, but uh, just on the normal fixed setup, uh, pretty good, 7.74. Alrighty, well that's going to end up doing it here for the Nashville guy. A lot of fun this track can be in a certain lobby, but just one thing to look out for is uh, just keeping the tires underneath you with this track being concrete. It wears a little bit quicker than uh, normal. And be up on the brake bias adjustments. Um, so if it starts to get tight through the center, lower that brake bias a click or two. But um, yeah, it's pretty much all for it showed you guys the race pace kind of how to get around it and the qualifying lap up to speed and uh just other than that race it smart you know gain uh gain a spot a time get a good run on the exit of the corner don't worry about enter entry charging the entry here at this track definitely isn't going to help you you want to get that 
good run on the exit of the quarter, being the throttle as early as possible. That helped. Uh, that helped a lot. But um, that's gonna do it. So if you guys found this helpful, um, please leave a like, subscribe. I'm gonna try to do another one for the trucks, maybe a little bit later in the week. Uh, when I got time. But yeah, a lot of fun. So if you guys found this helpful, leave a like, subscribe. We'll see y'all in the next one. Goodbye.